Now in this lesson we're going to be looking for patterns. Now we know that 3 plus 5 equals 8. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. What about 30 plus 50? Well that equals 80. And there's a pattern there. We've got the 3 and the 5. That made the 8. And there's zeros on at the end there. 300 plus 500. Well that equals 800. Again there's a pattern. We're dealing with hundreds, we got three, and we've added the five, we got eight. And then we put the two zeros on the end to make it 800. We also know that seven minus two equals five. We can extend that idea and say that 70 minus 20 equals 50. The seven, we took away the two, we get the five, and we put the zero on at the end. 700 minus 200 equals 500. Again, we're dealing with hundreds this time. 7 minus 2 gives us 5. And then we put the two zeros on to make it 500. Let's look at some examples now. The first one, 200 plus 400. We're dealing with hundreds, so simply 2 plus 4 is 6. And because we're dealing with hundreds, they have two zeros on at the end. So the answer there, 600. The next one, 50 plus 30. Okay, we're dealing with tens here. So 5 and 3 is 8. Because we're dealing with tens, we've got a zero, one zero only. Let's put the zero down. Our answer there is 80. 700 plus 800. Again, we're dealing with hundreds. So 7 plus 8 is 15. We're dealing with hundreds. We have two zeros. Let's put the two zeros there. Our answer, 1,500, or another way of saying that, of course, 1,500. Next one, some subtraction now. 900 minus 600. We're dealing with 100, so let's think 9 minus 6 is 3. And what do you think, how many zeros? Did you say 2? Of course you did. So 300 is our answer there. 70 minus 30. Well, 7 minus the 3 is 4. And one zero only there. And next one, 800 plus 300 minus 900. Right, we're dealing with hundreds, aren't we? So let's think 8 plus 3, that's 11 so far, minus 9 is 2. So let's write the 2 down. We are dealing with hundreds, so at the end, let's put two zeros to make it 